Hey guys, I got an email from a guy called Srilal based in India asking me how can I get the search bar to show up in the search results like a lot of websites do. So you will probably have seen a lot of websites when you type them in, for example, Shutterstock or Mashable will have a search box show up under their listing within the Google search results page. So how exactly can you get that for your own website? Well, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do in order to get that to work for you coming up. Hey guys, Darren Taylor of TheBigMarketer.com and my job is to teach you all about digital marketing. Now, if that sounds up your street, you should consider subscribing to my channel. And in this video, we are looking at the search bar which comes under the search results of your website within the Google search results page and how you can get yourself one of those as well. First of all, it makes sense to look at what I'm exactly talking about. So you'll see here on screen, there is a screenshot of what I am talking about. You'll see there's a search bar underneath the search result within the Google search results page. So the user can search your site directly from Google itself. So it will save the user some time. It will help them find what they're looking for on page. And of course, Google benefit from this as well because it means they can interact and provide a better user experience for the user too. Essentially, all this is is structured data. Google allows you to have structured data across your website to do a number of functions on the search results page and other places as well. This is no different to doing that. What's important to remember here is that it's at Google's complete 100% discretion whether or not it shows this result. Now, a lot of big websites you'll notice like Mashable and Shutterstock will have this show up because they're big websites getting millions and millions of hits. Now, if you're a smaller website, Google will probably not let you have this functionality because essentially they can't justify it. If you're getting not enough traffic, why would people want to search your results from the Google search results page as opposed to just going to your website? So I can understand that to some degree, but it still makes sense to get the code on your website in case Google changed their mind or you slip through the net or for any other reason, it can't really harm you in any way. So you might as well do it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump on my computer, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to add this structured data to your website in order to make sure you have an opportunity to show with a search results box within Google. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to get the search box within the search results page for your website. So it's quite an easy thing to do. However, as I mentioned, it's not something that you're guaranteed to get to work for you. It's all down to Google's discretion and unless your traffic and your brand is strong enough, then Google probably won't do it. But I still think it's worth knowing how to do, just in case Google decides to change their mind. So just to show you what I'm talking about very quickly, I'm gonna type in Shutterstock, which is a stock image website. Now, <clears throat> now you can see here, Shutterstock's organic search result has this search box within the result. So this is what we're gonna try and put on our website. So this is what we need to do. I've saved the code I showed you in my introduction earlier in this notepad file. So I need to implement this piece of code onto the website and I'm gonna show you an example using my website, which is a WordPress website, and I'll show you how I would implement this piece of code. So the first thing I want to do with this piece of code is to make sure that it's completed correctly. So you'll see here the URL is example.com. Of course, that's just an example for the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my website URL into that field and paste that in there. Okay, that's part one done. The search action part's fine, the context of schema is fine. The next thing is your target for your search results. So what this area here means is this is the page you need to reference whenever your website generates a search result. So you need to follow the same pattern and then add the search query string in to the pattern. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna head over to my website I'm going to go over to my blog, just click on a random blog. And I'm going to perform a search on my site and I'm just going to type in PPC. Okay, so now you'll realize, look at the top here in the search bar, you'll see the search result for my website, the format is question mark S equals, and then the search term. So for me, for my search to work for my website, I'll need to copy this part, copy this and then paste it into this area up to where the equal sign is. So you'll see here, query.example.com slash search question mark Q equals. That's just an example of what a search query could look like. So I'm gonna paste my one in instead. So now you'll see here, https thebigmarketer.com. 
question mark s equals and then the search term string which will automatically pull in the string for the search term and that's it so this piece of code now is set to enable a search results to show with a sorry a search box to show for my website in the search results page but again it's all down to Google so you're not necessarily going to get this to work but let's put it on my website anyway okay so now I'm going to add this code to my website so I'm going to head back over to my site and because I'm logged into my WordPress website already I'm just going to go to my admin page now one thing to remember is I'm showing you on a web or WordPress website, but no matter what technology your website's using, you can add a code into your website, whether that's manually, whether you need to speak to your web developer or whether you can do it yourself using whichever technology or platform your website is built in. Ultimately, you need to put this code within the body of your website. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in now using a plugin in WordPress, which will insert the code into the header or footer of my site. So I'm going to go to the section I need, which is after the body tag, and then I'm going to add the code here. I'm going to copy that in and paste it. And I'm just going to tidy this up because there's quite a lot of spacing here. And I think I'll just compress it a bit, make sure it's all spaced out properly. There we go. So that code is now sitting in there, which is good, which is what we need. And now I'm going to save this data. Now you'll notice there's a desktop and mobile option for this particular site. I haven't ticked mobile on, so I don't necessarily need it to be the case. Um, so yeah, that's now in place on my website and I can now potentially show for a search box within Google. Now, there's one thing you need to do as well to make sure it works and that's to test that it works in Google's eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the structured data testing tool, which is a tool Google have released, which shows you whether or not your structured data is working. So I'm going to head over there now. So structured data testing tool. I'm going to head over there. And it, all it asks you to do is put your URL into this code box. And I'm going to put my URL into the box. I'm just going to copy that in and paste it. And then run a test. Now we'll see what structured data Google finds in my website. So I've got no errors, which is lucky, <laughs> which is good. So I've got all of this data on my website from all my publishing information, all of the data and the microdata Google is seeing, which is good. So you'll see here search term string is in there as my data. So you can see my search function is actually in there, which is good. So your potential action is search, search actions there. The search string is there. So all of the code I've put on my website, you can see it's been verified in Google's structured data testing tool. Therefore, it means that I am good to go. So if Google decides they want me to have a search box, and usually the kinds of searches that bring this up are searches for like, if someone types in a brand name plus the word website or official site or something along those lines, Google likes to show it in that instance, unless you're a big brand where they just show it quite often anyway when search is a big part of your business or your website. So again, going back to the example of Shutterstock, their website is all about finding images. So having the search box there is a good thing for them. Now, it's not necessarily going to show for me, but ultimately I've done the work now. That means if Google decide they want to show it, that they will and they can. And that's it from my point of view. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're going to do to your website or if you found this helpful. I reply to pretty much every comment I get, so feel free to hit me up in the comments down there. Don't forget to check out the other content on my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video.